1,000 heartbeats per minute. This shouldn't be possible. As a bat takes flight, its body kicks into hyperdrive. As they beat their wings up to 15 times per second, their hearth rate races to over 1,000 beats a minute rapidly raising their core body temperature to around 41 degrees Celsius. For most mammals, this causes extreme inflammation, cell damage, and then possibly even death. But the bats live through this feverish flight night after night and comes off healthier as a result, living 10 times longer than our understanding of biology would otherwise predict. Bats have been on Earth for more than 50 million years. With more than 1,400 species, they are the second largest order of mammals and are widely dispersed across six continents. Over 300 species of fruit depend on bats for pollination. Without bats, say goodbye to bananas, avocados, and mangoes. Bats help spread seeds for nuts, figs, and cacao, the main ingredient in chocolate. Without bats, we also wouldn't have plants like agave or the iconic saguaro cactus. Just like a hummingbird, the lesser long-nosed bat can hover at flowers, using its three-inch long tongue, equal to its body length, to feed on nectar in desert environments. Bats are mammals, belonging to the order Chiroptera, a name of Greek origin meaning hand wing, which accurately describes the animal's most unusual anatomical feature. Because bats are small, secretive, feed at night, and are unfamiliar to most people, they are sometimes regarded as rare. On the contrary, they are found throughout the world except for certain oceanic islands the Arctic and Antarctic. Some bats prefer to roost in barns, attics, caves, or abandoned mines. Those shelters providing safety from predators, protection from fluctuations in weather, and seclusion for rearing the young. To survive in colder regions, bats either hibernate in shelters with high humidity and temperatures above freezing, or migrate to warmer areas where food is available. Evidence for bat-like flying mammals appears as far back as the Eocene epoch, some 50 million years ago. However, the fossil record tracing bat evolution is scanty. Based on similarities of bones and teeth, most authorities agree the bat's ancestors were probably insect-eating placental mammals, possibly living in trees and likely the same group that gave rise to shrews and moles. Even though they share the characteristics of all mammals, hair, regulated body temperature, the ability to bear their young alive and nurse them, bats are the only mammals to truly fly. The commonly named flying squirrels and flying lemurs actually glide or parachute by means of a furred membrane but only bats have the structural adaptations that allow for full-powered flight. The structure of the wing membrane, the arrangement of the bone supporting it, and the positioning of the muscles provide the bat with the lightness and maneuverability necessary for catching insects, hovering above flowers, or quickly avoiding obstacles. But what do they eat? Although various bat species eat different kinds of food, the vast majority consume a variety of insects such as moths, beetles, gnats, and crickets. In this respect, the bat's nocturnal behavior provides certain advantages. Enormous numbers of insects fly at night, and with the exception of spiders, there are few competitors for such food. Among young bats, mortality is high. Some fall from the roof of their shelter and are not able to climb back. Some succumb to disease or parasites. However, they do grow rapidly and are able to fly in about three weeks. 
Once the hazards of youth are over, bats enjoy a relatively old age, some reaching the age of 20, and in one documented case of a brown bat, to 30. Certainly, they attain a longer lifespan than other mammals of similar size, such as rodents that live for only one or two years. In time, as we learn more of the bat's biology and habits, perhaps we can also adopt new attitudes that allow us to accept this soft, furry creature as a natural part of our surroundings and have a greater appreciation for the role it plays in contributing to a healthy ecosystem. If you want to support our nature research, you can become a member of the channel. Click subscribe and join us. See you in the next video. Nature's Code.